hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video not only i am going to show you how to get this new model from nvidia installed on your local system but more importantly the concept the architecture the idea behind this llama 3.1 minitron 4 billion model is quite interesting and that is what i want to focus on in this video to get some of the concepts right in terms of this model I will try to be as simple um, as possible in terms of explanation of what exactly this has been done. I'm not going to go into any mathematics or statistic jargon in this one because I just want to keep everything in the layman's term. So we will be installing this model afterwards, but let's try to see why this model is so interesting. And before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the GPU and VM for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Okay, so we all know that what exactly is Llama 3.1 model. I already have covered it to death in my channel. Like I have already done more than 100 videos on it on the in the last one one and a half months since the re uh, release of it it's by far one of the best open source models to date so meta introduced this powerful llama 3.1 model family few days back which includes model of various sizes uh, 8 billion 70 billion and 405 billion what nvidia has done is that they have applied the pruning and distillation to the 8 billion model resulting in Llama 3.1 Minitron 4 billion model. So they have cut the Llama 3.1 8 billion model into half and they have come up with their own fine tuned version which is called as Minitron 4 billion one. And by the way this is just a base pre-trained model it's not a um, fine tuned instruct following model or aligned model so you cannot really use it for instruction following or any uh, chat one but if you want you can of course fine-tune it the process which they have followed in order to get it fine-tuned is very interesting first they applied teacher fine-tuning the 8 billion model was fine-tuned on a data set around 94 billion tokens to correct for distribution shift ensuring that the teacher model provides optimal guidance during the distillation then they applied depth only pruning so to reduce the model from 8 billion to 4 billion 16 layers from the original model were pruned so it means 50 percent of the model was just removed the importance of each layer was evaluated by dropping them and observing increase in language models loss or accuracy reduction layers at the beginning and end were found to be most important Third thing they did, they applied width only pruning. So the model was compressed by pruning embedding or hidden and MLP intermediate dimension along the width axis. Importance scores were computed for each attention head, embedding channel and MLP hidden dimension and then MLP intermediate dimension was pruned from around 14,000 to just 9,000 and hidden size was pruned from 4,000 to 3,000 attention head count and number of layers were retrained so just to give you a bit more idea on width only pruning so imagine you have a big box with many smaller boxes inside each smaller box has many pens and pencils inside if you just remove some of the pens and pencils from some of the boxes in all the smaller boxes this is what basically you are doing with the width pruning. So you are retaining some of the features, but you are removing some of the others. And how do you decide which one to remove? That is something quite complicated because it requires some advanced techniques like activation based importance estimation and some other stuff, which is written in quite detail in the models card. And I will drop the link to it in video's description. But as a high level, this is all we need to remember as there was a three-step process teacher fine-tuning depth only pruning and width only pruning 
okay also they used the global batch size of around 11052 and they also used linear warm up of 40 steps so now you know what exactly this model uh, how this model was created and this is actually quite interesting because if this model is of any good and the benchmark information says it is then it means that you can prune or cut any model into half so for example we can just cut the model of <clears throat> uh, lama 3.1 billion to simply like 200 billion then maybe a bit more bit more it should be interesting anyway let me now take you to my terminal where i'm running this ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card of nvidia rtx a6000 let me also show you that this is the one courtesy mass compute next up let me create a conda environment and then we are going to install our model in it so first let me create it i'm just calling it mini let's wait for it to get created let's install some of the prerequisites like pytorch and accelerate and that is all done let me clear the screen next up let's install the transformers library and because it is a very new model so let's grab it from the source from this branch as mentioned in their model card so i'm just retrieving um, this repo from the pull request number 32502 as you can see here let's wait for it to done that is done and then let's also fetch the changes not this one i think i'm just going to fetch the changes from another repo so i'm just going to use this command after clearing it let me put it here that's the one and that is going to take a bit of a time okay so it says that i need to put the proper email address so let me put in my one and so i just used my um, global info here like this and then my email address with this git config and now i was able to run it and it ran fine and if you're already logged into git i think you don't have to do it but just for the sake of completion i did it let me clear the screen next up let's install all the prerequisites from this transformers repo it is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it and that is also done let me clear the screen let me launch my jupyter notebook in the browser and this is my jupyter notebook now let's import the libraries which we have installed and then grab the model and then we are putting it on our gpu and then also grabbing the model here and the model has started downloading let's wait for it there are only two tensors which is great and the model is downloaded now now in order to do the inference with it all you need to do just give your prompt pass it through the tokenizer grab the output decode it and print it so for this one i'm just asking it complete the paragraph our solar system is because it's a base pre-trained model so i'm just asking it to do the completion here and there you go so our solar system is made up of sun and the planets that orbit it let's try out another one so i'm asking it happiness is all about being happy you see so it's not a fine-tuned one so don't expect much coherent answers from it and you can also uh, let's see the math one so similarly when we say it solve the equation it is not really solving it but it is just trying to predict the next word but that is fine that is expected from the base model so if you are looking for some 4 billion model and in the llama 3.1 then i believe this is a good option to get it fine-tuned on your own custom data so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it uh, again the main attraction of this model is that how nvidia has pruned it and distilled it and cut it into half which is quite interesting i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot Thanks for watching.